there, Angela Price from Eden Condensed. And today I'm gonna to show you how to plant your tomato plants in a raised bed garden. And you can use the same technique if you're planting in large pots as well. And if you're gonna plant uh, your tomatoes in pots, make sure you're using very large pots because they have a lot of roots. So we first we have prepped the soil with a uh, great organic planting mix. It's nice and rich. It's also specially um, made for vegetables and tomatoes. So that will give the plants a good start. And I've chosen a Roma tomato here. And Roma tomatoes are great because they taste good. They're good for slicing and they're one of the best sauce tomatoes around. And there's basically two types of tomato vines. You'll have your indeterminate tomatoes which are the ones that grow on very large vines and they'll flower and fruit over the period of the growing season. And then you'll have indeterminate tomatoes, which are generally smaller vines and patio tomatoes are uh, one of those. The Roma tomato is a determinate tomato and generally what they'll do is they will flower and fruit all at once. So you'll get your tomato crop all at one time, which is great for sauce because you need a lot of tomatoes. So I'm gonna do a little extra prep for the tomatoes here. And the first thing you wanna do is to dig a nice deep hole. Tomatoes have deep roots. And so having a deep hole to set your seedling in is a great way to get started. And I'm gonna add a little bit of organic compost to the hole. Now, if you compost on your own and you have a home composter, this is a great way to amend the soil is to add a little bit of compost. So I'm just gonna add a nice handful, it's about a cup or so, and sprinkle that in. I'm also gonna put a little bit of kelp meal into it. Uh, this gives a lot of different micronutrients to the plant and tomatoes are really heavy feeders. So they actually like a lot of fertilizer. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in my planting hole and sprinkle that around. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, and this may be an old wives' tale, but I've been doing this ever since I started planting tomatoes. One of the nutrients that tomatoes really like and they need it to set their flowers is calcium. And a great source of calcium are eggshells. So I keep chickens and what I do is I will save the eggshells and dry them out for a day or two on my kitchen counter. And then you just crush them up and I'll either add them to my um, home composter and they're also great to just put about, this is about mm, half of an eggshell or so, crush it up and just again, sprinkle this around in the hole. Okay, and then let's make sure that's all mixed up in there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip this out here. And you'll wanna plant, you'll see on the tomato plants here, there's a lot of little leaves coming from the uh, base of the plant. You're gonna to wanna to plant these so those leaves are covered and more roots are gonna grow out of those leaves. So we're gonna get down in here, put that in here. And I'm gonna cover this up nice and deep. It's okay if you mound it up a little bit around the sides. And then the last thing you wanna do is take a look and see if there's any little flowers that have already started to grow. I always like to pinch those off when I plant, and that way the, the plant will put most of its energy into growing roots first, and then don't worry, you're gonna have plenty of flowers. So I'm just gonna pop my little tag in here so I can remember what kind of tomato it is. And then you'll wanna have some sort of support. Even if it's a smaller determinate tomato plant, you'll want to have support because you don't wanna have any of the branches break while your tomatoes are growing. And definitely put the tomato cage or whatever kind of support you're gonna use on the tomato when you plant it. It's just too difficult to do it if you're trying to put a cage around it after the, the plant has grown. Then the last thing you'll wanna do is water in your tomato. And you can do that either with plain water or you can uh, add some concentrated fertilizer. I've got some liquid fertilizer here that I use. It's for tomatoes, vegetables, and herbs. And I've actually put some in my watering can here. And you add a few tablespoons to every gallon of water and then you can water that in. Tomatoes take up a lot of water every day. 
So you do want to make sure when you water that you water really deeply and soak, soak the root ball so that way in the raised bed or in a container that you see the water drain from it. And I wish you the best with your tomatoes and I'll see you on the next video.